So on this Saturday afternoon edition of This Old Airplane. First, I need to kind of apologize to those of you who have subscribed and have been patiently waiting for me to come out with a new video. Um, because to be honest with you, I've still continued to work on the airplane, but uh, I get half or two thirds of the way through the project before I realize, oh crap, I should have recorded that. So this time, about a month ago, I had an issue where I couldn't get the airplane to start. And it's been cold blooded to start before, but uh, this time I couldn't get it to fire whatsoever. Took the battery out, recharged it, put it back in, couldn't get it to start, took the battery out, recharged it, and realized I was probably doing something wrong. So JJ and I went out to the airplane with a toolkit and did some troubleshooting. And then I realized that this was a shower of sparks uh, ignition system instead of a traditional uh, impulse coupling magneto system that I was used to. And uh, that's what uh, led me down the trail to finding out that our um, TCM starting vibrator uh, wasn't working. Wasn't making any noise or anything like that. Had to locate it, of course, and of course once we uh, once we pulled it out, you're gonna see what uh, what we found. So we found the problem, Jay. There it is. Took it apart, cleaned it up. Not much to it. It's got 24 volts in or 50, 12 volts in on that side. And then when you put it to start, there you go. Looks good. Probably last a long time. Sold airplane. So we've gone through, we found water in our starting vibrator. Now we've reinstalled it in the plane just temporarily and uh, going through and the boys and I have, have ops checked uh, each cylinder to make sure that the shower sparks is actually doing its job. So this will be the next, uh, I'll show it to you in just a second. Here. See if I can get it again. Yeah, you can see it. Good, cool. So what causes that kind of thing? Well, I'll tell you what, this is the hazard of keeping an airplane parked outside, especially in a place like Florida where it's nice and wet. Fly school airplanes and other airplanes get parked outside all the time. And, and for the most part, it doesn't hurt them a bit. Um, this is one instance where I, uh, we obviously have a, a little leak in our windshield or something like that. And at some point, a little bit of water must have gotten past the seals on the windshield and run down and actually dripped on the starting vibrator. Probably will still wouldn't have been a problem except for the fact that when this starting vibrator was installed, nobody punched a hole in the cover like it's supposed to be done. So, reading the book, Took the cover off, punched a hole in it, so if it ever does get water dripped on it again, it'll drain out the bottom and not uh, not have this issue. So stay tuned in our next episode of This Old Airplane, and uh, we'll be doing some cool stuff. Hey, look, there's my cute co-pilot. All right. <laughs> Cheers. See you later.